Banks is working on something that will let you kind of have the best of both worlds. So what's nice about this is it's software only. So this is the Heaven benchmark basically running on a GTX 480. And what happens is basically there's a software layer that basically sits there and watches the application calls. And when you know DX11 calls start coming down, those basically get routed over the discrete card. And then its output, essentially the, you know, the, the, what would be the new front buffer, gets copied over into the frame buffer of the uh, Sandy Bridge graphics. And so there's a single output which is coming off the DVI port on the motherboard. So there's no physical cable connected to the discrete card right now. Okay. Right? So you've got this running. I, the only reason I have this running at a relatively small resolution like this is just it'll fit on the screen. This is just running at 10 by 7. You could run this full screen 1080p if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. But it is just for the purpose of showing that not only can I have that going, but now I'm going to switch over here to Media Show Espresso to demonstrate that you literally can have both of these things. And not only can you have both of these things, you can have them at the same time. Okay. The neat thing about this solution is also it's software only. You may have heard of Lucid Logix and some of the stuff they did with some of the motherboard makers where they have a, essentially it's a bridge chip, right. right? That they were then licensing with some software technology to do multi GPU that was GPU agnostic. Right. You know, nice idea, pretty niche though in terms of multi GPU and the actual attach rate in the market. Mm -hmm. What's neat about this solution is it's software only, so any motherboard maker who wants to implement it doesn't have to go rework a board. Uh, there may be a couple of things they have to tweak in the BIOS, but it's it, relatively speaking light tweaks, right? Um, and then as well, for, for end users who, again, want the best of the best of everything, this is a way to get it um, in a way that's pretty easy to set up and basically will come included with their motherboard. Right. So it's a pretty slick technology. These guys are getting ready to go into beta. In fact, they're here at the show. Um, if you know Kim Stowe? Yes. Yep. Okay. So she's doing their PR. Uh, they're, they've got a suite over at the Mirage. And are, are happy to meet with you guys if you want. If you have a contact more info. More content. More HD content available on the PC. Uh, so today, if I go to Cinema Now on any PC, I'll get you know a lot of standard F movies. I can get a lot of movies, but I can't get HD 1080p, and I can't get the same day as uh, Blu-ray and DVD release. Now with Second Gen Core, what services will offer is, hey, if you have a Second Gen Core, check out this service. I'm going to click this button here to check if you are HD ready, and it's going to say yes, you are. And the the impact of that is I'm going to have a lot more HD 1080p movies available to me sooner, depending on the service I use, depending on the studios we're talking about. Um, but uh, it's going to be a whole new you know, augmented movie library available to me for download. Okay, And, uh, and then of course it all works, but what you need is you need a second gen core system, you need the service, you know, Cinema Now or whatever, we're working with a number of different services that will be launching and coming, coming soon. Um, and then you need, uh, you know, whatever player that they their service uses that will be sort of uh, Intel Insider aware and ready uh, to play the movie. In this case, it's a Roxio player. Um, still not final production, so you know working working out some of the final bugs and details. But this is the idea: is with Intel Insider, you're going to get uh, a completely new library of of HD 1080p movies that you can easily play on your PC. And what's really cool about that is when you talk about a notebook second gen core notebook with wide eye now um, and some of the wide eye enhancements were made I'm going to show you now as I have uh, again second gen core notebook here this is a D-Link adapter that's simply hooked up HDMI and power nothing else to this TV um, with this 2010 core the first generation wide eye we had the Netgear adapter and only the Netgear adapter um, for the first early part of 2011, we're going to have uh, expect to see adapters coming from D-Link, Belkin, um, uh, a number of other uh, suppliers, uh, as well as continued from Netgear. And as we go through the latter part of 11, expect to start seeing them built into things like new HDTVs and Blu-ray players and existing set-top boxes. So there'll be a much broader universe of ways to attach wide eye. And the ease of use is still very simple. Uh, this icon here, same as this icon here, will identify second gen core PCs that are Intel wide eye capable. Simply click on that. It'll take a few seconds to scan all of the different uh, adapters available. And what's cool about this interface is, let's say I'm in my home and I have adapters in three different bedrooms. It'll show me all of those and I can decide which one I want to connect to. It just so happens we have other demos around the floor and it's finding multiple adapters. <laughs> uh, in this case, I want the press room adapter, so I'll simply connect to that one. OK, 
okay, and now it's connecting, it tells me status connecting, you start to see the TV is connecting. And boom, it's connected. Now, it's connected in extended display mode, so this is also something we didn't show you last year at CES because we didn't have it yet. Last year at CES it was just clone mode only. But now I can treat my extended display just like any other Windows multi-monitor configuration. And what's cool about that now is if I go and choose a video I want to play, and yeah, exactly, cross your fingers. <laughs> uh, let's go. I've seen this one work, so let's see. So, 1080p video. And now I'm going to send it over the wide eye link. And come on. Come back, come back. Get the full, there we go. Want the full screen icon, there we go. 1080p full screen. Okay. Um, and, uh, let's see, is it a full screen? So I've got my 1080p video playing out on wide eye, and I can now use my PC sitting off to do other things, browse on that, play Pogo, you know, whatever it is I do while the rest of my family sits around and watches a movie. And that's the universe of content that's available for streaming, for downloading, and with Intel Insider now you have even more content that you can be doing this with because you can get the HD 1080p Premiere content. So, uh, you know, really exciting enhancements of the capability, much broader adapter ecosystem, still easy to use. Um, and uh, more content now even with Intel Insider, when paired up with Intel Insider. Great, thanks. Okay.